Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. So it's a new day, I've reset the program, and the enhanced graphics are turned off. I just played a different save file for the, throughout the first, uh, the first entire level, which is quite a long level, and I didn't see any lagging, but as soon as I got on the ship at the end of the level, like, after I'd completed the first level that is, what is it, this one here, the Genosian Arena, it started lagging. Uh, and I don't know if that was just a save file thing or what. I'm trying to determine if it's really a case of uh, possibly the my recording software is causing trouble or not. This is our next level though that we're going to play, so let's play it. See, there's a lot of different things that could be happening, and they could be all completely different things for completely different LEGO games. It, it, I imagine, inherently, this is all still the fault of the LEGO engine, that there's lagging at all. Because every other game I play, with the exception of Resident Evil 4 and 6, I haven't even played 5, Every other game I've played, which has been about 50 to 100 on this PC, has run perfectly and not shown any signs of this. So it's not an, not an issue that, like, I've had this computer for an, a year and it's given, uh, it's been lagging even from the beginning. Now it's been working perfectly fine. Smaller programs run fine. Uh, less graphically demanding programs that run fine, more graphically demanding programs that run fine. Uh, so it is, if there is something wrong, it is in the LEGO engine. However, that being said, if it is also only getting triggered by the fact that I'm recording, that at least leaves me some hope that maybe if I ever wanted to go back and play the LEGO games, uh, without recording they might run better or fine uh, the Lego Harry Potter series in particular is a series that that I know I played on the 360 and it was a much better experience because it was you know, on the PC lagging like crazy even despite all the efforts that we did which are the same efforts that we're doing here lowering the enhanced graphics lowering the quality you can see in this cutscene, as we're doing this uh, ship battle that's not really even being shown uh, as a playable. Well, okay, here we here we go. Um, they're starting. So we're doing this ship battle, uh, which I had kind of thought that. Ooh, this is interesting. I'm gonna land my ship. Ah, that's very interesting. Like, I, there's more ship battles in this game, I'm pretty certain. And, so, like, this is strange. I guess I'm going to unplug one and plug in the other. And am I going into this room? Wow. So you're landing on the ship and just attacking the ship. Hmm. You know, for all the bad uh, vehicle levels that have existed in the LEGO Star Wars series in particular, this concept's not a bad one. Have, have them in the ship, have them land, and then uh, have, them, have them go into a regular gameplay style uh, area. And see, this is part of the ship that we're on in the hub world, so it's almost as if this ship is either a copy or they're built at a, built to some standard, so everything looks the same, which would make some sense. I don't think I can do anything with that. And then I'm supposed to get in here and control the turrets, and I think I'm supposed to shoot ships. That's one. 
So these green ones that don't look anything like the symbol there. And I'm only supposed to kill, I guess, maybe specific ones? Or maybe I'm shooting my own guys? I doubt the game would, would really let me shoot my own guys, but... What, what can I say? I'm, I'm, this is kind of like a three-dimensional version of uh, Space Invaders, I think is the name of the game. We're getting rows of enemies and we're shooting them and we're almost done with the true Jedi from it too. We're getting a lot of uh, like currency. Let's see, I'm looking all up here and I'm looking everywhere and at this level I don't think another one is going to show up. Like I'm, I'm a true Jedi and I don't think there are anymore. I think I probably need to uh, I probably need to go to a different ship. What? Just then I got another one? Ah, this doesn't make any sense. What am I shooting at? Like, are there turrets on this other ship that I'm supposed to aim for? Like, I, I, I literally can't see. And I don't think I really needed to change positions because that wouldn't make any sense. This, this is extremely confusing because this is more shooting than the game should should have asked for if, if the true Jedi was going to be that low. Um, I have no idea what I just hit there. No clue. Uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, the, there's a certain point, even for kids games, where, where the person, where kids will realize like the video game is, is not treating them fairly or actually rewarding them from doing something. If we could make video games that were, were just centered around uh, the concept of of the game wins no matter what buttons you press or no matter what you do. We would have done that a long time ago. So this is interesting. It wants me to go, I think, over here now. Hmm. At least I think that's what I want to do. And then this is going to turn on our, the torpedo thing that we saw. And there's a small character input over there. And then there's looking around here just to make sure. There's nothing more. And it looks like there's nothing more, so. Back in our ship. Which looks very Lego-y, but also kind of a simplistic Lego-y. Uh, there is, I suppose, an issue for the level of Lego uh, studs that I would have as somebody who builds expert sets and and wants b several hundred or more uh, I would want at least several hundred uh, pieces in any set I built versus uh, child's Lego sets for ki little kids which are probably gonna just have like 100 at most This thing sh is shooting missiles. Hmm. Gotta build something. And then we're gonna unplug this. 
and plug in this and I think I'm gonna end up on the other side of the thing. Again, this very much feels like something that happened in the cartoon. Like this was a big like season finale battle that so I hit one automatically and then I hit another somewhere. Is it this thing? No. And see, I'm just frustrated here. And there's the lockup. So, and there's the second lockup, lockup lag that always happens after the first one. And there's a third one. Redu reducing the, uh, and there's a fourth one. It's like, what's with this game? What's with LEGO games? Is it, is it because I'm recording or is it just because it takes it a while to start locking up? Because it's taken us 11 minutes into recording and I would think if there was Let's see what this is gonna do. This seems like it's just gonna give me a collectible, which we might as well grab since we're doing this. There we go. So I got 10 out of 10, and did I get anything for that? Interesting, it didn't... It didn't seem like it handed me a, a canister or anything. Hmm. And then we're kind of back to not lagging. Now I have a canister. So we took out the one on the left and the, the one on the right. And let's assume the one in the middle is actually our ship. Then why is it shooting at me? It would be a good question. And can we just fly? You're heading out of the mission area. Like, is there somewhere in this game that where they'd be so kind as to tell me what the mission is? Because I don't know. Like, it doesn't seem like that ship needs any more destruction to it. It doesn't seem like... I need, would need to land over here. You see how that turret just appears out of nowhere? It's just like, it disappears completely. Is that because enhanced graphics are off? So we've got several things here that Am I supposed to shoot these things? These gold pieces? Hmm. Seems like the lock on is is not very good if this was gonna be the case. Press A to fly to new areas. Here, let's just press A. Like, is there something higher up? Like, Okay. So how was I supposed to figure that out? There was nothing pointing me towards that at all. 
But I needed to find this booster and then come down here and see this looks exactly like the ship we started our hub world hmm. and I guess I'm supposed to come over here and pull this and that's gonna be the end of the level Wow, that was really 13 minutes of no direction at all. Oh no, so I'm, I guess I'm trying to crash the ship. And did I just get halfway through it? I think I did. So now I have to fly back. You can see this level like it's missing a lot of development I clearly clearly what you would have wanted here is for let's see how do I get back down oh you have to find this over here hit Y and then press A you see this is so ridiculous And then I've got to come back here and do it a second time and I assume the game's not gonna be so mean as to make me do it a third time but I've just got to do everything again which isn't helpful because I still don't know what I'm aiming for like is there something in this middle section that I'm supposed to be hitting or is it something else? Like, I just shot all three of those and it didn't do anything. The ship's not broken. Hmm. Well. We, we can kind of say it didn't eliminate the lagging by turning off enhanced graphics and everything else, but we've gotten it as good as I think we're going to get it. If we can go 13 minutes and only have one lag for a short amount of time, that's probably the best we're going to get. See, here we can see the pink arrow is telling me to target something over here. I just don't see what yet. It's... And so that took out that ship, which let's go ahead and fly over here and refill our missiles and then see if with a full set of missiles I can just go attack this ship without having to shoot at it or if it's going to prove too difficult. Man, are things just popping in and out, though? Like, things you need to see are missing. Hmm. I guess with some perspective, though, and seeing where I think this game is in the line of the... PC ports for like there's something there I don't even see that but if you hold the X button I guess that will lock on your target so hold down the X here until you see something here there like there's nothing there at this level of graphics it's just not there that's why I can't see it And now the game finally tells me to go there, which it didn't do before. So if this is before Harry Potter, and Harry Potter only got worse, 
there is some small hope that maybe Pirates of the Caribbean will somehow be the one that didn't also have this issue on PC and then all the other games all the other Lego games I need to play are past that point because Lego Marvel Avengers it is very recent uh, Lego City Un Undercover is going to be a is an old game that's being ported so uh, in the fact that it's being ported uh, right now and isn't even out it is really just gonna be, I guess, the nail in the coffin when I get to that. Uh, if, if it turns out that Lego City Undercover is ported poorly and it's still lagging, uh, then, then I mean, that's just yet another confirmation of what we already know that TT Games doesn't care about the PC ports because they think these are just kids' games and kids aren't gonna play PC, which is moderately true. Uh, somewhat true. It's becoming less and less true. So we have Anakin Starfighter and the V-19 fighter, which I imagine if we were playing two-player, the, the other character would be there. Uh, it is worth mentioning, I think, that that probably would have been a nightmare level if you were playing co-op, because they're going into each of those sections probably requires both characters. Uh, or maybe it doesn't, and then that, that'd be kind of cool if one one of the players is running around shooting uh, on the outside of space and the other character is inside the ship shooting to the turrets. That would be an amazing feat that I just don't believe TT Games could have actually accomplished. So I imagine what really happens is it tells you, no, you can't go any further until uh, you both characters are in the same place and see we can run around here and there's this shield holding these things up and there's a slightly different controller but this looks extremely similar to the to the ship we were just on that we saw them crash into the uh, crash into the other bigger base and is that the end? No. So it seems like we're gonna go. That one was called Storm of Ryloth. Innocence of Ryloth. And see, I assume this this will be the second to last one, and then there'll be a six somewhere around here. It may be to this planet. And it seems like we're gonna go full loop. Maybe even right back here and see I don't know what these little yellow connector things are because they they seem to mean something I just don't know what it I guess the implication is that we are actually on this planet right now or orbiting the planet and so we're gonna we are here and we're going to go there I guess that's the implication and then systems we we still have this whole case where we we've got the ones I assume in blue are controlled by the Jedi and the ones in, uh, in, in red I assume are controlled by the Sith or the Empire. I, I don't even know who we're actually fighting right now. Uh, we didn't unlock any new characters. It, it is very noticeable, however, that a lot of these characters are just clone troopers, storm troopers. I, I assume they're not clone troopers or they're just people in uh, the armor, which doesn't have a lot for diversity here it's just like Jack and Rise they probably have different weapons but their masks are the exact same color same is true for Lieutenant Thayer now Commander Cody has a slightly different color and Captain Rex looks slightly different but I mean <laughs> and the default clone trooper doesn't have any color and 
around their eyes, but that's the only difference. And there the game locked up again in the menu. It loves to lock up in the menu too. Like nothing visually really happening right now. Nothing visually demanding. It I wonder if it's my SSD is somehow it's locked up right now too, by the way. Uh that there's some like access that happens. It tries to read my hard drive and fill up the buffer from my hard drive and can't do it because the buffer is so big I don't know but as far as as far as visual settings we've done as much as we can we took turned off enhanced graphics we turned off all of these that's as best as we're gonna do it I mean we could do fixed horizontal and turn that on as if that's gonna really even affect anything because that's for two players and I'm never going to be playing two players. We are 9.8% done and personally I need to hurry up and finish this game so and I kind of want to hurry up and finish the game too. It's like it, it's a bad taste in your mouth to start a game and immediately have lagging that you, we've been having over and over again but also I need to get this one recorded because there will be a lot of content ID copyright claims from people for the Star Wars music and so that means I have to record everything at least 30 days in advance that's it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.